Dear students, in my last lecture, we have studied about circular coil behaves like a magnetic dipole and magnetic dipole moment of an electron orbiting around the positively charged nucleus and also we have studied the gyromagnetic ratio and few illustrative numericals on those two articles. Now today we are going to study the magnetic properties of matter. In this magnetic properties of matter, the first property we have to study is known as magnetization of material denoted by Mz or it is also called as intensity of magnetization denoted by letter I. Both these quantities are vector quantities and their magnitudes can be defined as the intensity of magnetization Mz is defined as the net magnetic dipole moment divided by volume of the sample. That means we write for Mz is equal to M net divided by volume that means area multiplied by length and therefore from this formula mz equal to m net upon volume as the assignment of net magnetic dipole moment is ampere into meter square and the unit of volume is meter cube and hence the SI unit of magnetization or intensity of magnetization is ampere per meter. So the intensity of magnetization or magnetization of material, one of the definition is magnetization of material is nothing but the net magnetic dipole moment per unit volume and its SI unit is ampere into meter. Now we will define the same quantity named as intensity of magnetization. So intensity of magnetization can also be written as the intensity of magnetization I or it is also called as Mz denoted by Mz as we know that it is M net divided by volume we can write M net as pole strength multiplied by magnetic length and volume is equal to area multiplied by the length and therefore as this 2L 2L gets cancels Mz or I that is intensity of magnetization the formula come out to be 
small m divided by a and it is nothing but induced pole strength divided by cross sectional area so another formula for intensity of magnetization or magnetization of material is nothing but the induced pole strength per unit area again if, if we substitute the SI unit of both the quantities again we observe that the SI unit of this I is same as that of MZ and which is ampere per meter and hence magnetization of material and the intensity of magnetization both are the same terms but their definitions are different and both having same SI unit called ampere per meter. So by using second formula we have right here intensity of magnetization R is equal to m divided by that means small m that is pole strain divided by area and from this formula we can calculate the pole strain of a bar magnet so pole strain of the magnet bar magnet or solenoid when current pass through it or toroid when current pass through it the magnetic pole strain is equal to intensity of magnetization multiplied by area again from this formula we are right mz is equal to net magnetic moment per unit volume and from this formula we have find the SI unit and its SI unit is ampere per meter so ampere per meter is the SI unit of mz or it is the SI unit of I that means that is intensity of magnetization now if we multiply the term or the SI unit of intensity of magnetization that is ampere per meter by the unit of length that means small m that is meter so ampere per meter is the SI unit of intensity of magnetization or magnetization of material and if this SI unit is multiplied by the SI unit of length then we obtain the SI unit which is ampere and this is the SI unit of current and hence the induced current or magnetizing current is given by the formula mz into l that means length this is the new formula so if mcq is asked if the length of some conductor which is in the form of cylinder or in another form and intensity of magnetization is given then we can find out the magnetizing current so magnetizing current is nothing but the product of intensity of magnetization multiplied by the length and by using this 
formula, we can illustrate or solve one numerical. Let us suppose that there is a cylinder, thin cylinder of paramagnetic substance. The length of this thin cylinder is L and is equal to 10 cm. And also suppose that the value of magnetization is 10 to the power 6 ampere per meter. And we have to find the value of magnetizing current. This is magnetizing current. Then, as we have already found the formula or we have already derived the relation between magnetization of material, length and magnetizing current and from that formula we write I m is equal to m z into l and therefore in this numerical or in this problem the cylinder of paramagnetic substance having length 10 cm and magnetization is 10 to the power 6 ampere per meter if the values are substituted in the formula for magnetizing current, we get magnetizing current is equal to mz. mz is 10 to the power 6 ampere per meter and the value of length is 10 centimeter which is 10 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter and therefore we get the value of magnetizing current and the value of that magnetizing current is 10 to the power 7 minus 2 that means 10 to the power 5 and the unit of magnetizing current is as usual which is ampere. So this is one of the numerical as we have derived new formula that is relation between mz magnetizing current and length of the magnetic material. Now, today we are going to solve few more numericals which are based on the article called magnetization of material or intensity of magnetization. Now, the second numerical we are going to take on and the second numerical is as we know that the radius of the earth the radius of the earth we know it it is 6400 kilometer. Again, we know that Earth behaves like a huge bar magnet. As the Earth behaves like a huge bar magnet, it must possess magnetic dipole moment. And the value of magnetic dipole moment for Earth and its value is 8 into 10 to the power 22 ampere meter square. That means in this numerical we are provided radius of the Earth which is 6400 kilometer and another data is given that is magnetic dipole moment of the earth which is 
8 into 10 to the power 22 ampere meter square and we have to find the magnetization of earth so as usual we know that the magnetization is given by the formula net magnetic dipole moment divided by volume as magnetic dipole moment is provided which is 8 into 10 to the power 22 and beer meter square divided by volume and volume is 4 by 3 into pi r cube now in next step we write mz is equal to 3 into a into 10 to the power 22 divided by 4 into value of pi is 3.14 into radius which is 6400 kilometer that means we write 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 and cube of the bracket square that means in the formula for m z m rate upon volume value of m rate is 8 into 10 to the power 22 and the volume of the earth is 4 by 3 pi r cube the formula becomes m z is equal to 3 into 8 into 10 to the power 22 divided by 4 into pi 3.14 and radius given 6400 km that means 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 meter and its cube and if we solve this by using block table or simply simple mathematical calculation the value of this magnetization of the earth is come out to be 72.9 and its SI unit is again ampere per meter or is nearly equal to 73 ampere per meter so this is the second numerical we have taken today which is based on magnetization which is regarding with the earth as a huge bar magnet and we have calculated the magnetization of earth as a magnet now we are going to take third numerical or third MCQ regarding the intensity of magnetization or magnetizing magnetization of material